Daytimes with Dom. BBC Radio Kid. Now, if you or someone you love has struggled with addiction, you'll know what a massive challenge it is to try and turn your life around. We're hearing a story of recovery to start our programme this morning. That of 44-year-old Lee Durrant, who has struggled with alcohol and drug addiction for most of his life, but decided to seek help in Kent at Kenwood Trust this year. Lee, good morning to you. Good morning, mate. You OK? Yeah, really well. Thank you for being with us. And, uh, you know, I say those words out loud, and I'm thinking how difficult that must be to even face up to what you have gone through in your life and then seek help. Not easy to go through any door. No, um, of course not. But finally surrendering to the fact that I am an addict um, has, has helped no end, you know, and, and getting, being given the chance to get into Kenwood House... Um, was just amazing the work that they do there is unbelievable um yeah so uh, like literally over the last three and a half months my life has changed dramatically you know um by just just doing what's on offer at Kenwood House can you take us back to how you even got there in the first place what was going on in your life and this goes right the way back to being a kid doesn't it yeah so um I suffered a traumatic childhood, you know. Um, both my parents were drug addicts, heroin addicts. Um, both parents had gone to jail. I had suffered uh, mental, physical and sexual abuse at the hands of my stepmom. Um, yeah, so literally using dr- drugs and alcohol to just change the way I was feeling from, from eight, nine years of age. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's been, it, was, it was traumatic, you know. Um, just to suppress them feelings um, and change them, obviously, the way I felt. Always putting a mask on that I'm OK, but inside I was just broken, you know. Um, I can't even imagine how you navigated that for yourself in terms of thinking about the addiction that you were going through over that period, because it went on for a long time. Yeah, yeah, like I say, I'm 44 now, so it has been, it's been a long time for me, you know, Um but I had to finally surrender because it would have killed me. You know, I was having, I was having the dark thoughts was creeping in more and more. Um, the suicidal thoughts, I could not get them out of my head. So I had to literally hold my hands up and ask for the help. Um, and thankfully, I was given a space at Kenwood, you know. Um, and like I say, what they do there is unbelievable. They're, what's on offer there, if, you're, if you want to take what's on offer... It helps no end, you know. Um, well, we'll hear from the team at Kenwood Trust who have been helping you in just a moment, actually, Lee, because I think that'd be really important for us to share that with people. But when we talk about, and particularly with alcohol abuse as well, when we talk about being sober, it's an ongoing situation, isn't it? Because at any moment that um, can change. Yeah, of course. Listen, it's just at the end. It's, it's at the end of my arm. If it's there, you know, I will always be an addict, whether it's drugs or alcohol. And if it wasn't drugs and alcohol, I would have been addicted to something else, gambling, sex, whatever it would have been to change the way I was feeling, you know. Um, so, yeah, it, like I say, it's just it's been an amazing experience over these last three and a half months, going through Kenwood and then into resettlement. Um, the, the, the staff, they've got a fantastic um, team around them. So. And you're living in Kent now? rest of my life you know this is this is this is me now for the rest of my life i'll be on this journey of recovery that's um, incredible to hear yeah. it, it, it's incredible to hear you say those words did you ever even imagine you would be able to say those words one day um well when i was in the madness of course not you know but this is my life today and what this is working for me and it's the first thing that's ever worked for me so why would i want to change it you know stay with me i want to bring in mark holmes from the kenwood trust who's been listening into that it must make, Mark, all the work you guys do feel so valid uh, when you hear someone say that you have changed their life. Uh, morning, Dominic. It, it really does. And it's amazing to hear uh, to hear Lee doing so well. Um, you know, it, it's it's all down to Lee, though, as well. You know, it's, it's hard work being in recovery and, and you get out what you put in. And uh, he's done extremely well. And it makes my day to hear to hear stories like of success like Lee's. Why is it so important that those recovering from addiction get real solid help? And I know that you, how you are funded means people making donations and, and trying to really get people on you know, a, a path that can help them successfully for the rest of their lives. Yeah, I, th- I think um, 
uh, I mean, Lee, Lee said it best, you know, it, it, the importance of having some expert help. Um, the addiction is so complex, um, you know, and at the root of most addiction is, is a lot of trauma or underlying mental health. Um, and it, it, it's really important that, you know, once the substance has been put down, that uh, that those things are addressed with the help of, of experts. And, and we've just actually employed a consultant addiction psychiatrist who's going to really help us to help our residents to get to the, the real root of their addiction. Just explain what you do at the Kenwood Trust in terms of someone comes in suffering from addiction in their life. How do you start from that beginning point to hopefully seeing them walk out of the door into a new world? Yeah, so um, most of our residents and, and most people in sort of very entrenched uh, uh, addiction will have had a medically managed detox before they come to us. Um, it, it's not widely known, actually, that alcohol is more dangerous than even heroin to, to stop on your own without that intervention. So people come to us um, having been detoxed, and then the next big obstacle, the big thing to face is... Um, dealing with emotions, dealing with life, really, without your uh, feelings being numbed by substance. So we have uh, a wide range of interventions that we have here at Kenwood Trust. Uh, we have two recovery programmes, one based on the 12 steps, which many people will be familiar with, Alcoholics Anonymous and Narcotics Anonymous, and the other project based um, on the recovery model and, and smart recovery, which is a more holistic approach with... Um, cognitive behaviour therapy, psychoeducation, everyone has one-to-one counselling, one-to-one key working, we've got animal therapy, alpacas, goats, art therapy, so a real wide range and we can sort of tailor make people's programs to to suit to where they are and what works best for them but it's a real really going back to basics and kind of looking at yourself really kind of being honest with yourself and and the the circumstances that had led you to to Kenwood and just slowly working through those. Lee, what is life looking like right now? It's yeah, like I say, it's changed dramatically over the um, over the last three and a half months. Um, from going through Kenwood, they they suggest we do we do a life story. Um, so it's something I've done, and I've I've written a few um, memoirs and stuff like that. And there was a member of staff there who read it, who's actually got a PhD in English literature and creative writing. So he recommended. I, I, I sort of look into that. I've started a university course doing creative writing at New Cross. So this, none of this would have come about if I hadn't have gone to Kenwood House, you know. Um, so, yeah, it, it's just and the, the main thing is, is engaging in what's, what's on offer there, you know. And, and like I say, if you do engage in it and you grab it with both hands, then it changes your life. And I will be forever grateful to Kenwood House. You know, and the Kenwood Trust. I'm in the resettlement side of it now. Um, fantastic team, staff team around them. So, yeah, life life is amazing today. And like I say, I wouldn't want to take my own will back. Uh, this what well, this working for me, and it's the first time any this has ever worked for me. Anything that, that's done like this has worked in my life. So why would I want to change it? You know. Lee, thank you so much for sharing your story with us on BBC Radio again this morning. I wish you all the best for the future, and I'm sure what you've just said will really resonate with so many people listening. Yeah, good, I hope so. All right, thanks very much. Lee Durrant, uh, who was with us on the programme, 115 days sober. He is at a different path in his life now than the one he started with. And as we heard at the beginning, uh, a start in life that was so, so difficult and not of anything of his own doing at all. Mark Holmes, we heard from the Kenwood Trust as well, the registered manager there at the Rehabilitation Centre near Maidstone. If you've been affected by today's conversation, you can head to the action line, bbc.co.uk forward slash action line, or you can find out about the work of the Kenwood Trust by going to their website, kenwoodtrust.org.uk. This is Daytime on BBC Radio Kent.